welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great week, folks. To begin a great relationship, know what you want. Know what the needs of your body are and what the needs of your mind are, what fits well with you. There are millions of men and women on that some of them will make a great match for you and others won't. The two of you only need to be a key and a lock, a match that works. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 279, NASDAQ down 8, S&P is up 20. Gold, gold contract down $26.10, traded at 1970 an ounce. Silver down $0.16, cents, $23.17 an ounce. Light sweet crude. Up $3.66 at $72.95 a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10 year note down a full point plus three ticks at 115 flat. The 30 year off almost two points, one point plus 31 ticks. 32 ticks equals one point at 130.12 and King Dollar. King Dollar right now trading down 269 at 102,847. The euro is at 107. The yen is out here at a price point of 131. And the British pound is at 122 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world and the world of the S&Ps? Let's take a look at it. What do you have? Well, if we take a look at the E-mini first, I suspect when I just did that update that we're going to be game somewhere around this 2033, no, 2000, 4033. Right now, you're up uh, 19 ticks, 19 points, rather. Um, and what's happening now, this is cool, this is, so watch how this shakes out, folks, okay? You see this bar right here? Um, the bar that we're tied, the 10 minute bar that we're on right now, let me look at this thing here. Okay, so it's 309. And this 10 minute bar, what happened here, folks, is we got to 20, 40, 27, but yet we're at 40, 20 right now. But see the volume, see how the volume exploded to the, uh, to the higher? When, they, when you see something like that, that is saying that it still wants higher price. This is a, this, it, it's a tricky one, but the bottom line is that that's telling me that it does want to get up into the bar where we started off from, which is the 4,033 this morning. So we'll see how that baby shakes out. We go into the, that's in the short term. If we take a look at the SPY, bottom line, you get a sideways move, you get a sideways move out here with light volume. Let's pull this baby up. Yeah, it, well, actually, you're going to be higher with light volume. And I suspect, you know, the next couple of days, you're going to bounce around. We'll probably go test this, this, the, the spike that we had out there uh, on last Wednesday. That was the 402, also with light volume. This will mess around here for a bit after the way that, you know, bottom line, you had, you had the couple banking deals. And, you know, the market didn't, didn't go down a lot. That's real. Did, well, actually, it didn't go down at all. Um, I think we finished up last week. Yeah, we did. We finished up last week. That's how deviant it is right now. Because that has to do with where we came from going all the way back to January. That's, that's the reality. We're going to take a look at the uh, NQs. We bring up the NQs. We take a look at the NQs here. What do we have inside the NQs? Okay, so these babies here, same type of setup. See that volume expansion? That volume expansion. Okay, we're going against 1,500, uh, 150, one second, 15,000. We just did 12, 13,000 right there. This, this one's higher price too. This one's higher. This be, we'll see where this sh shakes out. And the Qs, once we got 848, yeah, we're not, in, we're not inside. The, the, the NQs have to get inside the 12,848. That's the number because... The NQs are set up differently than the S&P. You get inside 12,848, then it would have game up to the 12,952. Gold, we look at the gold contract out here, bottom line inside the gold contract, you get 1935 that's wide open to get hit once again. You know, it's so interesting, man, that, you know, it, I, I, my take is that we are going to 2,500 right now. Now, what does right now mean? This is where this gets interesting, right? It's like, okay, is right now like two or three months from now or two or three weeks or two or three days, right? I'd say we're in the two or three month deal. You know, you can see how they're, they're trying to hold this baby down. They, there's just, listen, traders are both, both sides of the market. That's the bottom line. 
as it keeps pushing over this um, 1983, it is getting sold, can't hold price at that level. That sets up right there at 1935, coming back down again. Now, most of the time, yeah, 1935 is the top of that. 1892 is the bottom. And if I'm right in that context, folks, what will end up happening, it will be fast and furious, because that's what gold loves to do. Fast, furious, just take yourself. Now, let's talk about the bond market, because it looks to me like bonds have bottomed. And I suspect that that is it, that the rates have peaked. If we take a look at this, what you're gonna see, you're backing down today, okay? We're backing down with 1.1 million contracts. Well, when you take a look at this, man, I mean, we went higher in a dramatic way. And, you know, both times we backed down. Back, we backed down a little last week, went topside again, had pretty good volume at the high, but that was 100% move for move. Now, you're just backing down slightly. And, you know, the, the Fed has a deal. There's no two ways about it. The deal is employment, price stability, right? Well, guess what, folks? This is going to be, it's not going to be unique, but what's going to, what has already happened is this. They had to push so hard and so fast that they, they blew up the banking system. And it's blown up, man. It's just like uh, one of the tigers in the den, uh, Duffy was saying earlier, that, yeah, this is a, you know, the banks have assets, but they're allowing the banks to um, say those assets are worth more money than they are. Okay? So picture, this is what you have. The, if the Fed keeps going up on rates, right, that's more of an implosion. So they're looking at it, okay, am I gonna implode the rates or do I have to stop the rates? And the fact of the matter is, um, bottom line, inflation's gonna go more. But it gets heavier than that. The bottom line is that they're gonna burn the public versus burning the banks, because you can't burn the banks, well, not the burning of the banks, but the bottom line is that the banks would burn, and if the, all the banks burn, then everything burns. So my take on this, and I'll, I'll bring up the, the chart when we come back from the break, um, you know, the bond market, technically, it looks to me like it's going higher. We already have three higher highs, two higher lows. And so I think that's the way it's going to go. And then, you know, bottom line, if you haven't got the gold report, go check it out. Because that means hard assets are going, man, big time. Because they, if they're going to make that choice, <laughs> guess what? Prices are still going to go up. Because every time that they do raise rates, the losses of the banks get incredibly more. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.